Hello, welcome back. So, I am starting off with a 20 ounce um, prepped tumbler that's been painted white because I'm going to be going in with a um, alcohol ink that was in my Banff custom box that I got this month. And we're going to be using one of her trans her her sheets that are like transparent, but then part of the design is not transparent. It's like has white. And so it's very, very cool. But anyways, I wanted to go over how I do a wood grain in just like a normal wood grain. Cause I know I have my fall tumbler where I did the, you know, the one with the tree and everything, which is a little bit different look. This, I wanted it to be like a true, real true wood grain. And so this alcohol ink is from NMO, uh, shop I think is what it's called but anyways it came in the in the the box and I immediately when I saw it I said I want to do a wood grain and I want to put this floral on top of it like immediately when I saw it I knew that those two were what I wanted to do and so I just went and painted a cup and got started on this wood grain so as you can already see, I what I do is just take this chip brush that I have, and you can get them anywhere at any, I think the Dollar Tree has them, and then the, um, you know, Home Depot or whatever, and they're very cheap, very inexpensive, and they're very, they work beautifully for the wood grain. They really give you that, that real nice, you know, just grainy look. And what I do there, well, right there, I made a little bit of a mistake, <laughs> but normally I would just put just a little strip of the alcohol and then I would um, you know then I would brush it up and down up and down up and down and kind of sideways a little bit on the sides a little bit on the sides now as you can see that if you do something like that if you do have an accident and it comes out a little bit more than you wanted no big deal it's a wood grain it's going to have many many different facets and features and looks and colors and shades and it's no big deal like you you really cannot screw up a wood grain as far as I'm concerned you cannot so anyways um, I'm gonna speed this up now because I've already kind of gone over everything and this is literally what I do it's there's there's no rocket science there's nothing to it it's just a strip of alcohol ink and then the one thing that I will say is don't be wearing any kind of clothes that you don't want ruined by alcohol ink and don't have anything around your like a cup or anything that you have that you don't want to you don't you don't mind if alcohol ink gets ink gets on there because it will get on there it will be flinging and everything and that's why those rags that you see here oh my god that's why they are a disaster because this is my alcohol rags these are my alcohol ink rags so anyways but you just kind of like I said you just kind of go until you feel that the wood grain has come to the look that you want or that you're desiring and sometimes I will make the bottom I wasn't exactly sure it, you know the total end result of this I knew I was going to be doing the wrap but I wasn't sure you know how what I was going to do with the bottom so I just went ahead and painted the bottom no big deal no harm you know if you don't end up doing anything with the bottom you can just cover it in glitter which I end up doing and you know whatever so I just keep adding ink until like I said until I just kind of get that true wood grain look and I do like when I have kind of lighter parts and darker parts I really like the look of like a you know a really stained up you know kind of wood but you know you could have done something a lot lighter this alcohol ink came with that pack so I just kind of went with it as far as I thought you know what it it was it was in here maybe it was meant to go and that's I just kind of went with the whole design of the pack so I'm not sure why I wanted to do this but in my mind I just kind of wanted it to be like really distressed and have some real character underneath because I knew the flowers were going to kind of cover everything up and so I went ahead and sprayed it with alcohol which I have never done before but I thought you know like I said before you can't screw up a wood grain right so I just like sprayed it with some alcohol and thought 
let's just see kind of what this does and I'm gonna cover it up anyway so it's you know it wasn't that big of a deal and I wanted a little bit more texture and a little bit more oomph to the wood so I just kind of kept adding a little bit more spritz of alcohol and then just kind of moving the alcohol around and just kind of creating a little kind of rustic design and I really like the way that it turned out like I said once you put the flowers on there you really you know you could just kind of see these pops of like distress underneath and I don't know it just turned out really cool so after that I um, put a coat of epoxy on there I did let it dry a little bit more than I normally do which is like 30 minutes um, only because I had put so much alcohol and the ink was kind of really saturated so I just wanted to make sure that it was but I did not I do not seal it or do anything like that so I just put a coat of epoxy and then I'm cleaning it up with alcohol and then here I am setting up my Cami Page Boutique, uh, my little lineup tool there, so that I can line this uh, this sheet from Banff Customs here. And like I said, this is these are really cool sheets that she has. The um, there's like a transparent, you know, the, there's you know transparent in between each one of those flowers, and then the flowers have that white ink on the back. And so you really can kind of add a little bit of something different, you know, to a design. And I really liked the way that this turned out with this, those roses. I think the pink against that harsh wood was really pretty. Um, and it just, it really had a, um, you know, a different kind of look to it. And I thought that's why they put the alcohol ink in there, right? Was to do a wood grain and add these flowers. So <laughs> that's what I did. And you want to literally treat this like a vinyl wrap. I mean, that's basically what it is. Um, so I used my my felt tip, you know, uh, burnishing tool there. And I just kind of slowly pushed it over. I didn't want too many bubbles because it is clear and with the wood grain. So I was trying to be very careful. This is not sped up or anything. This is the, the way that I was putting it on was very slow and very meticulous. Um, but... It really does look pretty cool. I just thought it kind of had just a, a really unique look to it. It just had this like harsh wood look and then these really beautiful pink roses that were just kind of delicately placed on there. So anyways, uh, I thought that was really cool. So then when I got to the other side, I, um, I just kind of pushed it down and then I took my razor blade, you know, my exacto knife or whatever I should say and uh, and just cut off that excess that was on the side there and I just did this very slowly and carefully because I didn't want because this seam was going to be able to be seen and uh, but I was fine with it being seen I just wanted to make sure that it that it looked nice so I just took my time and um, like I always say take your time in the beginning and then you won't have to waste so much time in the end but anyways and I thought I had a pretty sharp um, X-Acto knife, but I, I just don't know. I, I mean, do I have to, like, buy a new X-Acto knife every single time I use? You know what I mean? Like, that's what I feel like. It's like, I feel like I just bought this. It should be really sharp. But then, <laughs> anyways, so I was barely, you know, I was trying to cut off the top. And I did pretty, did okay. I did have a couple of little spots where my uh, knife kind of nicked, you know, a little bit further down than I would have wanted. But um, this is where, at the end on the bottom, I guess I should say, is where I was trying to be really careful and really slow and take it really slow. But I ended up kind of getting a little bit of a wonky bottom. And because this was so uh, dark with the dark wood and then the, the floral and the, the clear, you really could see the difference. You could kind of see the wonkiness. So, you know, what better idea than to put glitter on? And that's what we're going to do next. So if you are a fan of the Glitter Ranch and their Outlaw Bundles, then you would have gotten this in an Outlaw Bundle uh, with our New Orleans theme. This is Bourbon Street. And it's so gorgeous with this beautiful gold and like these pink flecks in there. And I just knew that it would be perfect. It was going to give it that kind of darker look but then also this kind of bright gold and pink look and I, I knew it was going to work perfectly for this and it also covered the bottom beautifully with all that wood grain that we put on there it, it really covered the I did not really have to do a whole lot and I'm using the 
the small open side. So I, cause I didn't want it to like rush, you know, just come completely full out. But even just doing that, the bottom really got totally covered. I mean, I was, I was very pleased with this and I really liked the look. It was not too bright, was not too distracting. Um, it really, really was like the perfect touch. So after, <clears throat> excuse me, after I let that layer, that tiny bit of epoxy that I put on the bottom there and just kind of up the side, I let that dry for maybe a few hours. And then I went in with two coats of epoxy. Now, I have not put anything on this tumbler. It's just, this is the way it is. I could not decide of whether or not I wanted to put some kind of saying on there or a name or a monogram or... I don't know. It just, I don't know. I just like the simplicity of it right now. And so I was thinking that if I, <clears throat> if you've watched this far and you've gotten this far in the video, I would like for you to join my Facebook group and well, on the post that I'm going to make about this video, tell me your idea. Tell me what you think. If you come up with the best idea, I will go back and film what you decided to put on there and um and i'll send it to you so anyway so hopefully you made it this far but anyways join my group comment on that uh post comment on this video subscribe like all of that you know stuff that um, i always tell you to do and hopefully you do hopefully you do like this um check out all the description down below all the banff all the discounts different things that i have all the links that i have below and um I'll see you next time.